Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back for another TOS video. So today we have a brand new ultimate stage from the new Flower Elf series. Right, so we have the Carnivorous Golf. Right, uh, 3 star is the outfit, animated outfit. So we have Mono Water, uh, Leader, Ally, same card as well as Mono Dark. Right, so this will be a two team video once again, right, clearing three achievements. So first and foremost, Mono Water as well as Leader ally same card, right? We're going with our Su Huan Zhen team. Right, so of course not the safest team out there. Of course the best is still uh Cornflower, right, in my opinion. But I just want to feature a bit of um old cards, right? Not not too much of Cornflower, right? Since I featured Cornflower before and I maybe just feature some um alternative right other than Cornflower. Right, so anyway. First battle we have three elves, right? We have no with no skills at all. Right? This is basically your one and only storing battle. Right? After that it's just burst all the way, I guess. Right, so here, being a water team, right, you want to take down the left most elf, having the attribute advantage on it. After that you can see that the two elves should be on alternate CD, so that it's easy for you to store. Right, so battle two we have Gidra. Right, Yidra is going to convert a random color upon encounter into water and then the lower her HP, the more time it attacks. Right, so note that she's at CD1, right, so here I kind of just wash off one turn, right, try not to damage her too much and you can see she's at CD2 after that. Right, so take the chance when she's at CD2 to actually burst her down, right, maybe to give you more of a safe zone kind of thing. Right, attacking her at CD1, you might not kill it, right, and then that results in a in a game over right like you can see in this case a uh, normal spin right i didn't actually kill it off in one one spin so bringing her to c2 is one of the safer option right so at the same time kind of store one more extra turn right so that's another good point <laughs> okay so we have water keeper power release cassandra floris as well as oldest power release as well Right, so upon reaching battle 3, right, Cassandra should most most likely be ready now. Right, so activate Cassandra for the extra damage burst here. Right, so uh, we have Mei Lili here right, with the Vortex runes. So here, you should be able to take Mei Lili down in maybe 1 or 2 spins, right, depending on how much water runes and hard runes you have on the board for this Su Huan Zhen setup. Right, for me, I take a hit, I use 2 turns, right, which is not really an issue. Right, so second, HP bar is the lower the HP, the stronger the attack, um, as well as mark fire runes. Right, so here is where fire, uh, the water keeper comes in to convert away the the fire runes and to give you enough runes to kind of just burst down the second HP bar. Right, so moving on to battle four out seven. So four out of seven is more of a you you can say it's a secondary storing stage, not too much, right? Because this elf here have a very tanky HP as well as a very decent damage right so uh, I prefer not to store to be honest right so full attack and then take down battle 4 so battle 5 is the headache of the entire ultimate stage in my opinion right we have Rose coming in with the initial attack which is negligible right giving you that 98 rounds of uh, movement debuff every Every square you move is 1000 HP deducted, right? So this is obviously meant to be a Flower Elf series kind of um, ultimate stage. Like they force you to use the new cards. Right, so anyway, here is where Floris comes in, right? Uh, doing the transformation and removing that additional effect, which is that debuff right there. Right, so before you do that, remember to turn off Cassandra, right? And then after that, you can just reactivate her, but not now, after this. Right, so you can see after the after the debuff is is being removed, it's kind of a easy battle already. Right, so here I went for that lucky sky drop. Right, if not, it's it's gonna be a game over for me. Okay, and then second HP bar is gonna be anti initial dark combo. Right, together with a neutralized reset, which is why you turn off Cassandra the the turn before. Right, so here turn Cassandra back, and then activate Su Huan Zhen. Right, so Su Huan Zhen is going to give you a board of water, hard, 
water hard and light runes right? so this is going to give you a very uh, clean spin uh, without without worrying that you have uh, initial dissolve of dark runes right and then with one spin with cassandra activated is more than enough to take down the second hp bar of rose right so battle six we have power release magnus with the cross cross board fire spots right so here it's more of the annoying it's just annoying right so activate water keeper so by then if you're grinding the first hp bar of rose you should be having water keeper back on right so at this point of time activate water keepers effect one right so you have free movement uh for this so you kind of just squeeze through the the flaming the flaming spots and then you should be able to take down um magnus because on top of time tunnel you have an additional 1.5 times boost of water attack right so boss time five turns you cannot dissolve fire runes right which is a pain in the ass i know right so here you can activate flores to kind of remove off the um the fire runes right so every card here plays an important role right so on top of that activate odors right he's gonna be the one giving the additional burst to su huan zhen right so notice that he's being aligned next to su huan zhen right either either one leader or ally right you just want to give that su huan zhen that additional um attack buff right on top of su huan zhen's um additional self attack already it's gonna buff on top of it right so that's gonna break the 10 million defense right so first hp bar of the boss have 10 million defense and a hp of only 3 million so the hp the defense is the, the big issue here right so you can see one 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 damage and then the last su huan zhen hit is gonna break through the 10 million defense right so next we have neutralize reset once again which is why you turn off cassandra and then it's gonna give you a fixed board of fire and earth dissolving and that's in anti-initial earth combo right so here once again activate su huan zhen do your perfect six combo right in this case there is no sky drop right so we can see even with no sky drop cassandra plus su huan zhen confirms the kill right second hp bar is 19 million hp and you can see that this burst simple burst and convert is more than enough to take down second hp bar right so that will be it for first team of the day two achievements cleared right so again one one diamond one happy personal record currently this is still my personal record <laughs> okay so you can see the achievement cleared water mono as well as leader same as ally okay so let's take a quick look at this card right we're gonna do a small review at the end of the the entire video right so turn fire into enchant fire for one round two or more groups of fire dissolve 2.5 times if four to the max four groups is a 3.5 times uh fire buff right which is quite decent right so we will talk more about that uh at the end of the video right so now i'm gonna form the second team of the day okay second team of the day mono dark team right so I'm gonna feature Rose because I have not featured Rose at all. So this will be my first Rose gameplay in my channel. Right, if you want to go for Chaos Mono Dark Team, go for it. Put Saruma, put PR Dark Serious. It works. It still works. Right, so anyway, uh, I'm gonna run a Rose setup here, right, in which I find that it's kind of the more comfortable setup in my opinion. Right, because you can see uh, on top of the dual Rose, we have that middle I like to call it the feminine Dipankara. It looks like Dipankara, right? And um, having him there is an additional bonus to the team because it gives you the tumbler effect uh, with three or more flower elves in your team, as well as his CD being max CD4. Every time you activate him, he's gonna minus one CD for each member in the team, right? So he's basically there to give you that CD reduction, to be honest. Right, so Yitra stage same tactic right let her hit you once she goes to cd2 and then kill her off in one or two turns right in this case you can see massive sky drop i took down yitra in that one spin right next we are back with um may lily here right with the vortex runes so here is slightly tricky with uh rose team because you have to do a vertical uh horizontal dissolve 
right, and fulfilling the conditions of the vortex runes. So spin carefully, you should be able to get through. Next, we have the mark runes together with the Trojan as well. So here, I think I did not do a, a lot of storing in front, right? So uh, typically by now you should have um, Yao Ho, the Pili Puppet card ready, right, for you to use. Right, so anyway, two turns, so I kind of stored for stop for the card. Right, you can see the tumbler effect save the day, and here. He's gonna give you additional elf buff and that's gonna clear the mark fire runes on the board as well. Right, so you can see uh that, that wasn't really a good spin. Right, but at least you do like two rolls, two full rolls of dissolve and get a decent amount of sky drop of heart runes, right? You should be able to clear uh Mayflower, May Lily. May Lily's second HP buff. Right, so next we have the elf. Uh, once again, so here is more of a storing stage for Rose team, right? If you want to store uh, whatever card that you have used in front, right? Because these two elves are going to be on alternate CD, right? And then you having tumbler effect, you are not going to die right? unless you run out of hard runes and you didn't manage to recover back to full HP, which is unlikely. Alright, so here you can see I'm just taking my time to just grind down the HP and then. Without using any active skill, move on to the next battle. Alright, so battle 5. So I'm not sure whether Rose's um, skill is being biased to this team or whatsoever. Right, the initial attack is to kind of chip your, your full HP slightly. Maybe. Right. So here, activate Rose and activate um, our Mr. Feminine Deepankara there. <laughs> right, so. When your HP is not full, it's going to convert a column of hard runes instead of dark runes. Right? HP full, convert a column of dark runes. HP not full, convert a column of hard runes. So, with that, you can see activate Muramasa as well. So, that's going to give us a minus CD2 and then uh, minus CD1 there. So, we have a significant reduce in CD already, minus 3. Right, so, Rose here is going to be a more pain in the ass second HP bar here. Right, because we're running mono dark and then we we have a anti initial um dark combo shield. Right, so here try to use rolls to cancel out the, the roll with the most dark runes. Alright, and then spin properly to get rid of rolls. Next we have Magnus. So here I kind of I think there is several ways you can do it, I guess. You can use Tati here. Right, but I decided to use Tati at the boss. So here, I kind of grinded a bit for um, the cards to be ready, like Rose and uh, my third card, whatever you want to call it, um, Hyacin, I think. Right, so here, activate Rose, right, so times two elf attack, as well as a column of hard runes. Right, so I thought this is going to make the kill, but it didn't. Right, so unfortunately, I had to go for one more spin after that. But I had a decent amount of sky drop as well. Right, didn't quite make it. <laughs> right, so we have the tumbler effect, right, which brings our CD to uh, HP to one, right, which is a very dangerous situation with this crossfire trail because one mistake, that's the end of you. Right, so fortunately we have a couple of hard runes on the board, right. So try to just squeeze through that side gaps of the fire spots and then manage to take down the remaining. HP of Magnus. Okay, boss. So here is the more um, fun part of Rose team. Right, so here, what I did is Muramasa is ready, right? Tati, we have not touched Tati at all, right? I use her in this battle. Right, so the Rose, the Rose convert as well as Muramasa, and then I use Tati, right? So take a look at the craft here. Defense of enemy minus 80%. Elf recovery increased by 30 and then Elf CD minus 3. That's the most important one. Right, so actually second most important. Right, the most important one is the defense minus 80%. Right, because that is gonna um, greatly reduce the boss defense. Right, 10 million reduced by 80% is significantly lower. Right, so here 
play the compulsion to the max, the, the best of your abilities because uh, there's no point storing your storing the runes on the board because it's gonna give you this mass convert of fire and earth at the end of the during his second HP bar, right? So reduce defense is definitely gonna break through the defense. Good for good for us. And second HP bar here is where you use the other rows. Right, so Yao Ho is gonna come in, remove the entire board by right, giving you the additional elf attack buff as well. Right, so here you can see I activated um higher sin. Right, so that's gonna minus one CD and my the the rolls that I use just now pop once again. Right, so here I kind of just 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 activate everything, right? So as I mentioned, just activate the roll that have the most like earth runes right in this case it's earth runes because we have an anti earth initial dissolve here and right, so here just try to complete as many rows as possible right with that amount of elf buff right it should be a one hit ko for the second hp buff of 19 million and that's a gg for the elf achievement as well right so i don't think i played the rose team to the maximum potential in this gameplay Right, so I'll be sure to feature more Rose team and a uh, more uh, Cornflower. Right, let me know in the comments below if you want more Cornflower and Rose gameplay because uh, I don't think I featured enough for you guys. So anyway, that will be the achievement for Mono Dark team. Right, so let's take a look at the card once again. So three star, as mentioned just now, is gonna give you an animated outfit. So let's check it out. So, Nepenthes, right, animated outfit, which is okay, it looks like a dragon fruit to me. Okay. <laughs> right, anyway, turn fire runes into enchanted fire, right, when two groups of fire runes dissolve, fire attack times 2.5, when to the max, four groups is giving you 3.5. So, as you see in the official trailer, they're using the Cao Cao team because this is a demon card, right, which I think is fine. Right, second, you, you can probably put it in the Norse team as well. Right, I think Greek team benefit pretty well from this card as well. So I'm gonna put this card into game into future gameplays very soon. Right, so anyway, that's it for this video. I right, hopefully you guys like these two gameplay that I produced. Right, so anyway, if you like if you did enjoy, right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.